A little Sunday night. A little Sunday night. Simulation. What's going on? Appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll let everybody file in here. And then we'll get this thing rocking and rolling here in just a couple of minutes. Hope y'all are having a fantastic night, a fantastic weekend. And appreciate you all tuning in as well. What's going on, guys? Happy Sunday night. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on? Where's everybody at? (laughs) Wake up. Let's go. Let's go. I got to tell you guys, man, I I talked about it on the podcast a little bit, but I'll say this, man, to everybody who was so hospitable and, uh, you know, was, was, was so incredible. Thank you for this weekend. Um, everyone in Charleston, man, what a weekend. What, what, what a legendary weekend. What a time it was. Again, thank you all so much. Um, for those who came out to Rita's that, you know, watched the show, but you know, everybody in Charleston, that was incredible, man. Charleston's a great place and I love it down there and Folly Beach is incredible and, uh, ran into some great Gamecocks, like I said, last night and all throughout the city. So again, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So freaking much, man. We had a blast. And appreciate Jeff O'Hara also um, having me out there, guys. we got a special announcement, by the way, upcoming right after this. So stay tuned for that, guys. Very, very, very excited. And you guys will be seeing it on social media as well. But again, Gamecocks, Tennessee, going to kick this thing off here around 7 o'clock or right at 7 o'clock, I should say. Um, What are we thinking uniforms? What are we thinking? Somebody throw out a uniform suggestion. Do we want to go uh, white, white, black, or black, white, black? Or do we want to go Stormtrooper? Do we want to go, like, what do we want to do? Um, also, I posted it on social media, but Tennessee also. We are two and three. Tennessee is also two and three. Um, so, yeah, we need this one. Need a dub. Have lost three straight. Phil, what's going on, Phil? Appreciate you tuning in. Yes, sir. 13 days until kickoff. 13 days, man. Wild. Absolutely wild. So, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Jacob Stafford says, Stormtroopers. Uh, Chase Youngblood says, Black, White, Black. What do do y'all want to go with here? Drew Johnson says, Nothing better than a Sunday night watching some damn Spurs up. Drew, appreciate you, man. Appreciate it. Phil Harris, shout out to Caitlin. Shout out to Caitlin. Is it her birthday today? Isn't it her birthday? Corey Gardner, was that... So what was the post on Twitter from the players walking from practice about? Um, It was just a post of the guys going in the stadium last night for the scrimmage. It wasn't, you know... Wasn't meant... uh, Yeah, I'm going to go Stormtroopers. I'm feeling good about Stormtroopers. All right, cool. Yep, sit dog nine Sunday night hangover stream. Yeah, it was a, <laughs> it was it was quite a weekend for yours truly. I'm not gonna lie, it was it was quite a weekend. Paper Rhino says, "Did you make the rosters yourself?" No. Uh, shout out to my dude SG One Sports. I actually pay five dollars a month in their Patreon, but dude, all the great work they do and everything. They actually made this dynasty file that we're using to play the dynasty. So, um, SG One Sports is the rosters, and of course, college football revamped are the guys who have made this video game, um, you know, what it is now, which is incredible. So, yeah, those two people, SG1 Sports and College Football Revamp, man, huge shout-out to them. But, uh, yeah, SG1 Sports, I like their roster. And a guy constantly is updating it, too. He actually released a brand-new update um, Friday. So, releases updates, I think, like every Friday or every other Friday. So, really, really good stuff. Travi, what's going on? Appreciate you tuning in, Travi. What's up? Like I said, we're going to kick this thing off here in just a second. Going to kick this thing off in just a second. I got you, Phil. Well, shout out to Caitlin. Hope she has a she's had a great day. 
Hope she has a great night. Appreciate you, Caitlin. Shout out to you. All right, we've hit 7 o'clock. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. I'm going to go Stormtroopers, guys. I'm just feeling Stormtroopers. So, all right. Big game. Big game. Got to have it. Got to have it. Got to have this one, man. Got to have this one. Absolutely have to have this one. So, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Again, guys, appreciate you all tuning in. Thank you so much, man. Hope you've had a fantastic weekend. Um, hope you're having a great Sunday afternoon, Sunday night. Um, yeah, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. We got to beat Tennessee, dude. We have to beat Tennessee. Have to. Look at look at our offense, by the way. Look how bad we've been offensively. Like, my God, we've been terrible offensively. We're averaging 16.8 points per game. Like, what in the world? Yikes. Major yikes. Boo. That ugly ass orange. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Paper Rhino. So I actually posted my season predictions uh, or reposted them, I should say, yesterday on social media. I'll be reposting them next Saturday as well so people know. I've got six and six, though. I've locked in it. I'm locked in um, at six and six this season. I feel good about that. So, Carolina Titans is in the words of Pete Limbo. How you doing? How you doing? I love it. I love it. Might need some how you doing merch. Might need some how you doing merch. Travi says, I've been messing around with Heisman. It'll piss you the hell off. Had a sack and they dropped a bomb for a touchdown. Yeah. Heisman is, is, is not easy. Put it that way. Heisman's not easy. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Sit Dog says, five wins max. I, I think South Carolina can get to six. I, I think it's possible. I think the Gamecocks can get to six wins. So, um... I will tell you, gun to head, I would say five and seven is much more likely than seven and five. Um, I, I would say that. I, I think it's more likely. I think it's more likely that um, we have a little bit, a couple more question marks than I think we're really given credit for. So, uh, I, I feel good at six and six, though. I do. All right, we're kicking it off. We get to go on defense first. Tanner Land says, Chris, how about them boys thinking we're going to win nine games last night? And I'll tell you this, Tanner. I, I wasn't trying to, like, kill anybody's positivity or, like, be the bad guy. But, like, I, I was just, I was just, uh, you know, I just wanted to have banter. But, yeah, I mean, I'm also trying to keep perspective, man. Like, I'm trying to help Shane Beamer out, actually. I'm trying to help Beamer. Because, again, as we get closer and closer to kickoff, I think most people do have realistic expectations. But man, it's just like I've started to see, I feel like, an increase in the number of people saying like eight, nine wins. And I'm just like, guys, just just keep it in perspective, okay? Let's keep this thing in perspective. That's that's all I'm saying. Joshua Williams, LFG, yes, sir. Let's go. Uh, UU Cordell, who do you dislike more, Kentucky or Tennessee? <sighs> Dude, I, I hate Tennessee, man. But I, I've gotten to the point where I hate Kentucky because I just hate losing to them. Let's go. Nice play. Freaking go, Heath Hagler. What's up, baby? Sick Dog 9 says, Vegas has over under three and a half wins. Nine wins is nuts. Yeah. I mean, I, dude, I, I think the over under three and a half is crazy. But Vegas, they're, they're not idiots, right? They're not building mansions out there in the desert off of a winner's money. So, screen, screen, screen. Let's go. Nice play. Let's go. Hell of a play. Hell yeah. Three and out to start. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Tanner Land just put it beautifully. Tanner Land says, I think people are just really excited. Really excited. And their emotions are overpowering their intelligence. Tanner Land, that is beautifully phrased, my friend. I think you're right. Again, I'm not trying to kill people's positivity and hopes and dreams and all that. But just... I just want people to be realistic. Like, let Shane Beamer build. Let him work. Let him let him do his thing with our program, and I think you'll be happy with that. But you got to be patient. Go, go, let's go. That boy, Jalen Brooks. Damn, I think we're already off to a better start offensively than we had all last game against Troy. So, already in Tennessee territory. 
Come on, o. let's establish the run game. Let's establish the run game. Come on, boys. Come on, O-line. It's blocked. Man, what a, what a wild weekend this was. God, it was a wild weekend. What a good time. Again, I appreciate uh, my buddy Jeff O'Hara, Cox by 90. I appreciate his hospitality. Just an incredible time, man. Incredible time. Come on. Go. Go, baby. All right, got third down. Got third down. By the way, guys, get this. By the way, this is kind of a random thought I have. This is the last week of just two podcasts. What was that play call? Third and seven and you're running out the middle? How about just go for this? Damn it. Now, I was going to say, though, guys, this is the last week for the foreseeable future of just two podcasts. Do you guys realize we are a week from being in game week? Like, literally. We are a week from game week. Isn't that crazy? We are at one week from game week. That, that is wild. And, of course, as the return of the season comes, so will five podcasts per week. Dude, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. The content is just overflowing right now. Going to be crazy. You think about it, man. There we go, D. You think about it. You think about it. We've got... The Daily Podcast will return. The Daily Crow, the new expanded Daily Crow starts tomorrow. So that's going to be noon to 2. We're going to be live from Tin Roof every Wednesday, right? So that'll be 5 to 7 every Wednesday. I mean, dude, the content is just bleeding out the eyeballs, my friend. So the game still thinks Chump is coaching. Joshua Williams, hell yeah, tomorrow we got two-hour daily coach. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Starts out tomorrow. So, very excited, man. Very excited for that. Eastern Illinois plays this weekend. Really? I did not realize that. Let's go, D. How about a big stop? Get there. Get there. Pick it. Let's go! Let's go! Let's freaking go! Let's freaking go, kid! Elizabeth Ballard, appreciate you tuning in, and thank you so much for coming out Friday night, by the way. Thank you, seriously. Hope you had a good time. It was a pleasure to meet you, and, uh, yeah, I thought it went really, really well. So, again, I appreciate it. Yeah, Willie B is going to be shaking, my guy, no question. Jay Smith, what's up? Go, go. Go, go, you had it. God, he had it. Just get upfield a little faster. You had it. That play opened up for a second. Hey, I'll take that. Adam Ritter, what's up? What's going on, Ritter? Appreciate you tuning in. Hope your weekend's been well, Adam Ritter. Come on, O-line. Get up, field. Yeah, it was probably better he dropped it. I think he would have lost. Might have lost yardage. Panic Ritter is here. CJ Curry, what's up, my guy? Come on, man. You got to get this. Third and short. You, you got to get this. You have to get this. Throw it. Throw it. Hey, holy smokes. Wow. <laughs> holy smokes. What was that? Luke Doty's two for three passing, and both passes have gone to Kevin Harris. Go get up field. What an interesting play call there. Just like a little little swing pass thing. Scotty Griffin, I'm stoked to hang out with you, my friend. Going to be one hell of a time. Going to be one hell of a time. I'll go ahead and, by the way, spoil the surprise. Um, and I'm, we're actually announcing it immediately following this simulation. If you guys enjoy the live stuff that I'm doing with Cox by 90, well, guess what? You're in for a treat. We're actually throwing a kickoff party the night before the Gamecocks season opener against Eastern Illinois. Yes, Friday, September the 3rd, we will be out at Hall's Chop House in Columbia, South Carolina. We'll be out at Hall's. We'll probably have some guests stop by as well. Going to be the exact same setup like we had at Rita's also. 
where it'll be a little bit of a meet and greet, five to six, and then six is six to seven. Jeff O'Hara of Cox by Nine and I will be live out there on the patio. Again, appreciate Halls having us out. But again, a uh, kickoff party at Halls the night before South Carolina season opener. Really, really excited for that. And again, guys, we're going to be dropping a graphic and everything and promoting that. But uh, yeah, Jeff and I actually just had the idea Friday night after the Rita show. We we're like, why not? Why not? So uh, let's see. Sit Dog Nine says Eastern Illinois versus Indiana State Saturday at 6 o'clock. Sounds like must watch TV, my guy. Hudson Seabrook, can you see Carolina being a playoff team regularly ever, or do you think that is impossible? Nothing's impossible, but you got to go get the big time players. Made it play. Let's go! How about a third down conversion? Let's freaking go! Bro, how about a third down conversion? A little Doty to Brooks action. Here we go. Here we freaking go. By the way, guys, I'm curious, and I, you know, I know both Jeff and I hate we missed it. Um, did anybody go to the Gamecock Central party Friday night? And if so, how was it? I I'm curious. It looked like it was a good time. It was a really good time. Go, Luke. Go, Luke. Go, Luke. Got a babe. Nice play. Dude, I see, I don't mind him getting out of the pocket and scrambling. I just don't want him to do it every single play. You know? So... Go. Get there, Kevin. Get that first. There you go. There you go. There you go. CJ Curry says, I've already got my kneeling tickets ready to go. Yeah, man, I'll tell you this. I've never been, and I would have loved to have made the road trip, but uh, I'm actually very, very excited and fired up for the uh, the watch parties we're going to be doing at Carolina Ale House. Very excited for that. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Let's go. Freaking go, man. Come on. From the six yard line. Second down. Hey, CJ Curry said he was there. Got Ryan Brewers, John Hancock on the Outback Bowl hat. That's incredible. Go, go, babe. Go! Look at this run! Let's freaking go! Let's go! Hot boy! Hot boy! Oh, my goodness. Grown man run from Zaquandre White. A grown man run. Let's go. Here we go. Cox have a lead. Uh-oh. Let's freaking go, baby. Jacob Riley, what's going on, man? Appreciate the love and support, man. Uh, I will be at every single home game, yes. I will be at every single home game. So, I'll be in the stadium. Yep. Already got the tickets and everything. So, yep, really excited. And we're going to be I'm going to be releasing the details this week, by the way, for the TSUS tailgate. Everything you need to know, um, I'll be dropping all of those details. So, again, we got a lot of stuff, man. There's a lot of moving pieces right now. Um, truly appreciate you guys, the love and support, man. Like I said, it's it's going to be an incredible season. But, uh, man, there's a ton going on. There's a ton of moving pieces, and I, I truly, genuinely cannot wait for it all. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be incredible. Get there, defense. Get there. Pick it. Tyler Knowles says, if Doty can't go week one, it seems as if Zeb Noland will be the starter. Crazy, but can't beat experience. And apparently Jason Colton aren't ready. That's, that's, that seems to be the hot word on the street, right? Get there. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Who else? Who else but J.J.? Who else? Look, look at J.J. Get off me. Get off me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. SEC Football Tube says, whether it's in a video game, real game, or a board game, I'll always enjoy watching South going to beat Tennessee. Bruce, yes, Lloyd does play. Yes, absolutely. Get there. Nope, nope. Let's go. Brooks is the punter. He 
Let's go, boys. Let's pour it on. Let's go. Let's keep moving. It was a hell of a drive by the offense, by the way. Last possession. It's a hell of a drive. John Kruger, what do we call him? JJ and not Kingsley. I mean, I, he goes by both. I mean, I think it's kind of whatever you prefer, right? I mean, I'll call him Kingsley if you want me to. I mean, I just as well call, call him, call him JJ. Uh, Bruce, no, I, I was talking about the simulation, Bruce. Yes, Lloyd does play here and there. Um, yes, he definitely plays. Yes, yeah, CJ Curry, you definitely need Jalen Dickerson and Darius Rush, no question. Second down, South Carolina is up seven. Harris gets a Go. Yeah, go! He sheds it. Wow, what a run, <laughs> dude. Bro, what a run from look at this. Look at Kevin Harris. Get off me. Look, look at this. Get off of me. Dude, why did he why did he step out of bounds? Like keep going. Keep going. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the SEC Ball Tube says we could play against Tennessee at Candyland and still enjoy watching us beat that little orange. I can tell you don't like Tennessee, SEC Football Tube. Neither do I though. So. Wow. How did he get out of that? Wow. How did he get out of that? Bro, we're making Tennessee's defenders just look foolish right now. I mean, we are making them look foolish. You going to snap it or no? Nope. Take it to the second quarter. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Take it to the second quarter. South Carolina's lead is a touchdown. I would take a lead for sure. Get rid of it. Let's go! Dude, all of a sudden, all of a sudden the passing game. Where has the passing game been? How about big EJ Jenkins on the outside? What a throw here. What a dime that was. All of a sudden the passing game. How about that? How about that? Up by seven and looking at first. Go. Take it in yourself. Let's freaking go! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Let's go! What a drive. The offense is clicking. How did we look so bad against Troy offensively? And now we're just, we're cruising, dude. We're cruising offensively so far. Wow. And he tacks on the extra point. Wow. How about it? <laughs> How freaking about it? Look at Luke Doty. Looks nothing like him, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, Joshua Williams, Marcel Styles from my hometown, Woodruff South. And I went to my high school. His brother played last Friday. He's a hell of a receiver. Had over 300 yards receiving and three touchdowns. John Kruger, how many wins for Tennessee this season? Three. I think I've actually got them picked at five and seven. Um, yeah, I think five and seven. Dude, we have given up. Seven yards on defense. Now, see, Sit Dog, why Why would you even say that? Why would you say, Sit Dog 9 says this, I feel a must champ hacker freeze. Sit Dog, why, why would you say that, my guy? Why would you say that? No need for that. No need for that, my guy. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. There you go. Nice nice tackle. Nice tackle. SEC Football Tube just hit 1,170 subs today. Congratulations. Congratulations, SEC Football Tube. Good stuff. Good stuff for sure. <clears throat> Ty Oglesby, I am from North Augusta, South Carolina. I am not from Woodruff. Chase Galloway. I guess we have a Clemson troll in the chat because he says Clemson will wax USC. Hey, Chase, nobody asked. Nobody asked. So what? Nobody asked. Get there. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. 
Dude. Make the play. Pick it. What the hell was that? Attaboy, good job. Good job. Good job, Harrison Bailey. A Sam, the record right now is two and three. Two and three overall. Two and three. Yep. Get there. Nope. 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 That won't do it. That won't do it. Turner will get a chance to make something happen. Brooks is waiting for the snap. That won't do it. That won't do it. Let's freaking keep it going, man. Why not? Let's go. Bro, can somebody throw him a block? Anybody? Can anybody throw him a block? I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. Boy, did it vanish in a hurry. All in good fun, Chase Galloway. All in good fun. Hey, it's all good. You love the rivalry banter. Love it. Love it. Go. Ooh, this play could develop nicely. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, we're actually establishing the freaking run. We're actually establishing the run. You love to see that. God, I thought that could have went all the way, dude. I love the way that play set up. SC Football 2, I have UT Jr. at 5-7. and seven. I strongly believe that South Carolina will find a way to beat Tennessee, but it's definitely going to be a close game. Yeah, I think, dude, in Knoxville, I don't think Tennessee's going to be all that great this year, but I think anybody who thinks we're just going to waltz into to Neyland Stadium, a place that we have never really played well, it feels like. Um, yeah, so I think we win. I mean, I picked it as a win, but, you know, it'll, it'll be a tough game, as, as you just always expect with that one. Go, Marshawn. Go, Marshawn. Aaron Hodges, Doty touchdown to interception ratio, rushing included. What would you call successful? Um, I mean, I would say, I mean, hell, man, a lot to a little. <laughs> I mean, dude, let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Dude, the passing game. What is going on? Where is this coming from? All of a sudden, we have a passing game. Go, kid. Go. Oh, my God. How did that dude get him from behind? Joshua Williams. Chris, did you update? the Dude, I, I did not change anything, bro. I've been in Charleston. I've been in Charleston for the weekend. I didn't touch anything. So, I don't know what's going on. Get up field. That's a first. Oh, come on. Give him the first. Give him the first. By the way, can we take a moment to just appreciate how fire the unis are, by the way? Hard to beat stormtroopers, man. It's just hard to beat stormtroopers. Dude, just run the football. Just run the football, dude. He's gonna try and scramble. I mean, third and inches, bro. Third and inches, run the ball. Hell yeah. Thank God we're going for it. Dude, run the football. Literally run up the middle. Let's go. Let's go. Don't outsmart yourself. Beamer ball. Let's go. Beamer ball. Beamer ball. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. Let's freaking go, baby. He's tackled around the 31 yard line. Hmm. John Cruz is looking forward to Todd and Tommy this season. Those guys, those guys do a good job, man. Todd Ellis and Tommy Sugg. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 31. Pitch it. Wow. That was a hell of a pitch. Christian Mono says seven wins, Chris. Hey, seven and five's fair. I'm, I'm not saying that's a ridiculous or absurd prediction. Seven and five's fair. Luke Boyd says, where's the tailgate at? September the 4th. Right now, Luke, and again, I'm, I'm going to be posting a graphic and we'll be promoting it. Uh, Seawells spots 92 to 96. That is the TSUS tailgate. 
<clears throat> location. Get up field. Let's go. Go for this, right? Fourth and two. Got to go for this. Let's go. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love the aggressiveness. Come on, find a way to get this. Let's go! How about a pair of fourth down conversions on the drive? How about a pair of fourth down conversions? What a drive. This. Look at Luke Doty. 10 for 13, bro? What? Like, where is this passing game coming from? What is this? Oh, hit him. Go. Take off. Take off. The boy, just hold on to the football. Hold on to the football. Yeah, Luke, we have a lot of stuff behind the works, or behind the scenes. It's in the works right now. Um, for the tailgate, live show, the pregame show, all the good stuff. So, again, you guys will know, I promise. Right now, um, it's set up as at Seawells, but, again, just some stuff behind the scenes in the works. No, I thought about it. Let's see. SEC football teams, it hits me hard every year, but especially this year, we are so close to counter football. Before we know it, we will all be enjoying Carolina beat EIU. Joshua Williams, Chris, can anyone come tailgate with you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Anybody. All are welcome. Screen. Get up field. What was the ball, bro? Love. Now, now I think you have to kick it. You, bro, you converted two fourth downs. You, you just you got to get points out of the drive. You have to get points out of the drive. You've got to get points out of this drive. There we go. Smart move. Especially fourth and ten, man. Smart move, coach. Smart move. That a babe. How about it, Parker White? How about it, Parker White? Out of bib. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Out of baby. Shit, I'd, I'd take a 17 to nothing lead. LSU, they draw first blood with a passing touchdown. LSU leads it 7 nothing. All right. I would most certainly take a 17 to nothing lead. Absolutely. Luke Boyce is my dog. Chris is about to have his own college game day in Columbia every week. Hey. That's the plan, man. A college game day for Gamecock fans. That's it, man. No, it's going to be a great time. I, I, I'm really looking forward to it. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Going to be awesome. Going to be awesome. Where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days you prep and you look at a lot of film and you kind of come into a game at a time Saturday rolls around and you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense. And then you go out and add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. Let's go, D. Let's go, D. Get there. Let's go. And he's tackled at the 27. CJ Curry, yes, please. If you're watching this, you're on YouTube, be sure you like, subscribe, share. Um, if you want to support the business, support the channel, support the content, you're on YouTube, you can be a super chat, super stickers, all that good stuff. And, again, guys, thank you all so much for the uh, continued love and support, man. It's truly incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't say it enough. Get there. Somebody. Make the tackle. There we go. Fourth. Give us back the ball. Hey, use your three timeouts, coach. John Kruger. Lee Corso is going to be live on the set this season. How about that? I didn't see that. Wow. You got to wonder how many seasons he's got left of doing it. Like, you know, I mean, I love Lee Corso. I, I, love, I love college game day. But, uh... I don't know, man. You, you got to kind of wonder, you know what I mean? Like, how many he's got left, really? Bro, we are just dominating them. Like, truly dominating. Hey, three timeouts? Why not a score? Guys, we also kicked to open two. We get the ball after half. How about that? That was good upfield. And they make the stop right around the 46 yard line. Lloyd picks up seven yards with that catch. The game cut. Let's go. Let's go. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards. This is very random, by the way, guys. This is this is very, very random. But uh, I'm going to have some pizza after this, and I cannot wait. Go. Go. Take off. Take off, Luke. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God, dude. I thought he had it. I thought he was gone. How does that? Shoestring tackle. Shoestring tackle. Oh, dude, if he doesn't get him, gone. Absolutely gone. Dustin Durow, when do you think the starting quarterback will be announced? I think actually sooner rather than later. 
I think sooner rather than later. I, I think they want to get that out. Call timeout. Well, maybe you don't have to. I don't know. Tyler Knoll says 7-5 and five is very realistic. A healthy Doty will make big-time plays in the swing games, and I think they'll beat Kentucky, Auburn. Kentucky, Auburn, and Kentucky. I think they lose to Mizzou. They have a good football team. Probably a good thing he dropped that. Um, the other wins are the non-conference, of course, just me, though. I mean, I think 7-5 and five is possible. I'm not sitting here saying it's not. I feel comfortable. <clears throat> I feel comfortable with 6-6. Six and six. I do. I feel comfortable with 6-6. Six and six. So, push it downfield. Oh, no! Oh, no! Did he drop it? Oh, my God, he had him. And look at this garbage. We're going for it. <laughs> look at this. Shane Beamer said, punt? What punt? Hell no, I'm not punting. Screen on fourth and ten, my guy. I, I'm... Not sure about the play call, boys. Not sure about the play call. I mean, I don't I don't like I mean I like Kruger. There's football on this week. How about that, man? Love that. Love that. I think I'm gonna try to have like a pretty relaxing weekend next weekend before the madness, you know, really really gets going. So I think next next this upcoming weekend for me will be um Yeah. I think it'll be like a relaxing thing for sure. Oh, get there, get there, get there. Let's go. Let's go. We'll probably be hearing his name for some time to come because he's only in his first year on the field. The Dark Knight says Georgia or Clemson. I got Georgia winning that football game. How about this? Using the timeouts. How about us using timeouts trying to get the football back, huh? Brooks. John Kruger says we have UTEP versus New Mexico State, UConn, Fresno State, Southern Utah versus San Jose State, Nebraska, Illinois. I think Nebraska, Illinois could be a really fun game. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. South Carolina's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame. That, dude, that's me taking the bias. Bro, literally what you could not do. Literally what you could not do, man. You could literally just sit on the ball. You could, I mean, threw it right to him. He threw it right to him. What was that about? He threw it right freaking to him, man. Uh. Well, 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 well. How about we get an interception of our own? How about that? Philip Key says, Chris, who's your dark horse player of the year? Is a quan that, you know, I know people have some hype around. I don't think he's getting talked about at all. I think Jaheim Bell is going to have a huge year. So. There you go. Just keep him off the scoreboard. Just find a way to keep him off the scoreboard. Like what? You had the SWAT. You had the SWAT. For a field goal. For show, for show. How about a big defensive play? How about a turnover? Let's go. Nice, nice. Oh, very nice. Very nice, very nice. How about a turnover? How about a turnover, boys? Dun, 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 dun. USC, go, God. No, no, no. What a play to set up first and goal. Good job here by the receiver. I'm about to say, bro, you at least can't let him score a touchdown, like for real. That's the right way to catch a pass. The field goal unit's out on the field. Well, I can tell you this. These guys three points before halftime. 
That's interesting. So, I just got a follow. I just got a follow on Twitter. Let me show y'all the account, by the way. This is... Two touchdown difference, Reese, 17 3 here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let me show you all the account. <laughs> Somebody just followed me from this account Christopher Philadelphia. And they're using my picture as their profile picture. At C Philly 1801. South Carolina's lead is two touchdowns. Hi everybody, glad to have you with us on the that is EA so Sports strange. NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always. To lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Let's not get too carried away by the numbers, but both of these teams averaging less than six yards per pass. I would take that half, my friend. I would take 17 to 3 lead. Yep. Yeah, we talk about it all the time, having those big time speed guys, yep. those playmakers on the outside that, that really make the quarterback fail. <laughs> he said, "Hope you're hope you're getting the NIL." They're not scared right now. They're just squatting on the. No, outside. I'm not. I'm not getting the NIL, my guy. By me, you're not going to throw it deep, and all they're going to do is try to make sure that you catch the underneath stuff and wrap you up and tackle you. So somebody has to emerge as a playmaker, and you have to find the playmakers down the field to make some big home run plays. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm gonna Hell of a half, dominating. How about the balance there? 106 passing, 117 rushing. How about that? How about that? Sunday night, by the way. Thank you all so much. Got a hell of a week upcoming. Hell of a week. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. All right, let's put a drive together. Why not? Let's put a drive together and put some more points on the board. Go. Take off, Luke. Big third. Big third to start the second half. Make a th Dude, honestly, I just love the fact we're even pushing the ball down the field. Like, thank God. <clears throat> At least we're taking chances. Go D. Let's go D. Come on. Got to keep dominating. Got to keep playing well. Nice run and he's brought down. Again, appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Hope y'all had a fantastic weekend. Uh, like I said before, man, you had a blast, man. Had a freaking blast. Had a really, really good time. So. Come on, D. How about a turnover? How about a turnover? Come on. <clears throat> nice run up the middle. So what just happened? They need about three yards. Let's go defense. Nickeling and diming us. He's nickeling and diming us. All you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. That's a great 
Is that a babe? Dude, Roderick's been a stud, bro. Jacob Riley says, what will be the uniform combo for the first game, you think? I think they're going to keep it simple, man. I think they're going to go white, garnet, white. I just, first, first, you know, I know I guess in the grand scheme it doesn't really matter, but I think Shane Beamer, first, first game of his era as head coach, I, you know, I think they'll sort of want to, you know, set the tone, if you will. So, I think you'll see us go back to white, garnet, white. <clears throat> Just a simple, simple combo. Rob Youngson, what's up, my guy? Appreciate you even get rid of that ball. I'll shank this. Bro, these kickers in this game, they, they never miss, dude. Hey, solid. That's a, that's a W for the defense. That's a W, man. Cool, huh? Let's go. Let's go, O. Yep, establish. Lean on the running game. Lean on the running game. Lean on your strength. Lean on your strength. Don't overthink this thing. Ride the bus. When in doubt. When in doubt. Ride the bus. Come on, man. There's no need to get fancy. No need to get fancy. Hit him. Let's go! Take it up. Jacob Riley says, what do you think about Debo Williams? I don't... Ask so many questions. I just like getting your input. Jacob, ask away, man. That's why we're here. Ask away. Um, you know, I like what I've heard about Debo Williams. Just how good of a player is he going to be? I think that's the major question mark. You know, being a guy coming from Delaware, um, just, just how good, how, how much of an impact is he going to have? You know what I mean? I, I think most certainly he's going to play. Um, everything we've heard, I mean, has been positive. But, uh, you know, just how much will he play? That's the question. That is the question. Be smart here. Be smart with the ball. Go. God, Luke, why why does he run right into him? Why does he why doesn't he try to run around him? Why doesn't he try to juke him? Like I I don't need my quarterback putting his head down. You know what I mean? I'll tell you this, too. I think you're in territory where even if you don't get this, I think you go for it. Let's go! Dude, what is up with this passing game? I mean, this is incredible. EJ Jenkins, snag. Thank you. Thank you. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's go. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 19. This play is number eight on the drive. Keep it moving. Just keep it moving. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Gotta throw him a block. Gotta throw him a block. Got to throw him a block. Come on, another big third down. Let's go. What? How did he drop that? How do you drop that? 
Parker White is true. Let's go. Solid. Solid. Two score game. Two score game. I would take this. I would take this. I would most certainly take this. Tennessee's come out of the locker room after the halftime, and they got a whole different approach going here offensively. Yeah, I think the one thing I'm recognizing is just more about the execution. I think they're, they're doing a good job of sticking to the fundamentals of their game plan, but I think they're doing a better job of executing that game plan and it's helping them out. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the There you go. Nice, 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 nice. Jacob Riley says, Doty going off, proving all the haters wrong about not being able to throw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, virtual Luke Doty has a chip on his shoulder, my friend. Yes, you are correct. Ooh. I'm telling you, bro, RJ Roderick is a beast on the game. Like, that dude is a beast. Justin Martin says, Chris, I hope South Carolina staying in Garnet this season. I have to think at some point we're going to wear black. I mean, I, I, you know. I don't, I mean, I don't think they'll completely ditch all the uniforms, but I mean, I, but somebody get him. Dude, I don't mean Joshua because he's from the state of Delaware, but he played at with what state the guy's from. Um, Debo Williams is coming from a lower level of football, though. So that, that's what I'm talking about when I say Delaware. First and ten following that big run. They'll spread the field with five wide. Dude, somebody get there, bro. Let's not mess around, bro. Let's not let's not mess around. Let's not mess around and let Tennessee hang in this thing. Let's let's not do that. How about a big turnover? Somebody pick it. All right, third and one. Big third, big third. Harrison Bailey, nine for 20. God, some ugly numbers. Some ugly numbers. Of course, Jalen Hyatt. Of course. Of course it's Jalen Hyatt. Who else would it be? Jacob Riley, yeah, the plan right now is to uh, see Wells will be the tailgate spot. Again, I'll be putting out a graphic, though, and putting it on social media, man. Um, all the details of where we'll be and stuff like that. So, I got you. I got you for sure. Very excited to announce all that stuff. Really, really am. And he converts the extra point. Seven play, 75 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So our score, 2013. Tennessee is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Wow, close game here, and up and down the field. Need to answer with a score of your own. Need to answer with a score of your own. Got to answer here. Got to answer. Y'all see the bottom? Bro, North Carolina's number one in the country? And Florida State is seventh? What? What? Oh, Kevin. <sighs> Grown man run. That's all he does. Cocky getting crazy. Jacob Riley, yes, the plan is to do a pregame show from the tailgate. Yes, yes. Again, all the details will be coming out, of that, out on that very, very soon. Get up, field. a boy. When in doubt, ride the bus. Ride the bus. When in doubt. Their own 
49 yard line. It's second down. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out at a five Come wide on, Luke. set. And the defense counters with their dime look. They'll make the sack. Dude. Come on, dude. Got to be better, dude. Put your fours up. Go into the fourth quarter. One score game. Ooh, buddy. Things are getting dicey. Things are getting dicey. Put your fours up, folks. Put your fours up. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Go downfield. Oh, man. Oh, let's see. Aaron Hodges says, coming from a lower level doesn't mean you're going to suck. But if you didn't dominate a lower level, I don't expect you to contribute in the SEC. Yeah, and again, guys, I, I, I mean, I'll say I'm, I'm not sitting here saying that I think Debo Williams is going to suck. I obviously don't think that. But again, it is a lower level. It's just the SEC. Neither's Delaware. Neither's Georgia Southern, right? I mean, there's an adjustment. So, you know, it's like you're saying. I, I expect Debo Williams to make an impact. I think he's a good player. But how much of an impact? Will he have? That's my question. Nice, nice, good play. Uh, I don't know why, guys, the live stream would be cutting in and out. I don't know if that's a Facebook issue. Eight hours before, guys, know that's no, no doubt, no doubt. Guys, I don't know. I don't know why the live stream would be cutting in and out. I have, I have no clue. Literally, no clue. Um, so I mean, everything's good on my end. I don't know if it's like I said, a Facebook issue or. Something else. I don't know what the deal might be. They'll bring him down right around the 48 yard line. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Good old Spectrum Internet. Dude, I've got the fastest one, so it, the, the, the Wi Fi should not be an issue. It should absolutely not be an issue. Completed, but he can't shake the defense. Third and one. Come on, man. We've got to make a stop. This game's, this game's getting a little too close for comfort. This game's getting a little too close for comfort. Does anybody else feel that right now? Like, it's just like a, I don't know, it's just too close for comfort, man. I'm, I'm not I'm not enjoying what's going, what's going on. Nope, 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 nope. Dude, RJ freaking Roderick, my guy. And, of course, they're going for this. Come on, D. Come on, D. Let's go, defense. Fourth and inches, and they're throwing the ball. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. That's a stop. Even though Cam Smith should have picked that off. I mean, look at this. It hits you right in the hands, my guy. Like, come on, dog. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Big stop. Had to have it. Had to have it. Big stop. Huge stop. Now, how about this? How about this be the drive to put the game away, right? Little little four-minute drive, ride the bus, Kevin Harris touchdown, bingo, W. All right, productive first play. We'll take it. Rob Youngson, yeah, he had to, he had the pick six. I don't know how you just drop it. Jacob Riley, do you think B and all SEC type running back? Try to type that question again, my guy. I'm not quite not quite understanding the question. <sighs> Spin off that hit. Spin off that hit. Spin off the hit, my guy. Beautiful. Find your tight end. Sucks to suck, Smokey. Out of baby Luke. What a play on third. What a play on third, man. Keep the drive alive. Jacob Riley, do you think Lloyd is an all SEC running back? Yes. Yeah, I like Marshawn a lot. Atta boy. Atta boy. 
Keep it moving. Keep it moving. CT Jason one yes, man. Charleston was incredible. Charleston was absolutely incredible, dude. Here's the give. And he makes it out to about the 31. Sucks to suck, Smokey. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Let me just put it to you this way, CT Jason. Uh it was a bad, bad it was a horrific weekend to be a cold beverage. I can tell you that right now. It's all right. It's all right. It worked. All right. Third and manageable. Here we go. Third and manageable. Just don't do anything stupid because you're already in field goal range. You can make it a two-score game. Right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When in doubt. When in doubt. <laughs> Sucks to suck, Smokey. Sucks to suck. <laughs> oh, CT Jason, what's your favorite bar in Charleston? I mean, I, I haven't been out. Go. Atta like I said, it was. Come on, let's punch. Let's go! At a boy! That's the drive you needed! That's the drive you needed! At a boy, Marshawn! How about the blocking on the outside? Jaheim Bell was. Drive that was. What a freaking drive that was. Bro, this is like a great offensive game for us. Woo! Ohio State escapes the Maryland Terrapins at the shoe. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. South Carolina's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Uh, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively and what it's done is set up their prediction. Lock it in. Seventy percent conversion on third downs. Bro, oh, that's that's that'd be a hell of a season. We want a hell of a season. Travis says, nice. Suck it, Smokey. Yeah, suck it, Smokey. Second Sucks down, to suck, Smokey. To Dude, does anybody see the bottom? Like, how is North Carolina ranked number one? I mean, I think they're going to be good this year, but holy smokes. Nice. Does Tennessee know they're down two touchdowns, or they just they just don't care? They're just, they're just running, the, running whatever plays. They don't even care at this point. Tennessee's like, you know what, ball game, it's over. Ball game, it's over, folks. How about an exclamation point? How about a pick? Here they come. Pick it, God! That thing floated in the air, bro. God. Looks like they've decided to go for How does a D lineman not snag that and take that to the house? It's like every D lineman's dream right there. Let's go, defense. Get there, get there. Oh my. Let's go! Bro, how did Debo Williams not get the sack there? God, I mean, how, how does that guy cut him at the last second? Look at this. How in the world? Great job. Great job. Great job. Defense doing work. Let's go. Give him the old handshake. Got a boy, coach. Give him the old shake. Give him the old handshake, my guy. Very good stuff. Yep, just ride the bus, baby. Ride the bus at this point. Yep. Call him the Deb to do it against. Truly. Truly no better team to do it against, right? The old Tennessee Volunteers. No better team to do it against. Just over two minutes in the game. I'm shocked we're not running the ball. Convert. Ah, dude, like, why wouldn't you run the ball there? Just, just burn clock. Make them use a timeout. And I know you want to get the first, but... And we're going for it! We're going for it! Okay. I guess this is cool. Go, somehow get there. Dude, why, why, I, fourth down, why are you running a screen? Why are you running a screen there? Why are you running a screen? Guys, like I said, I have no clue why the Facebook issue. Got to be a Facebook issue. Sleep like a rock. Pick that. 
Let's go! RJ, was that RJ? RJ Roderick, let him hear you, 10. Do the damn thing, 10. Let's go. Bro, I'm telling y'all, bro, RJ, RJ Roderick has been a stud in these simulations. He has been a stud. Let's go. That'll put it away. That'll put it away. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's freaking go. Yep, make them use their timeouts. Make them use their timeouts, bro. You should not be throwing the football here. You should not be throwing the ball. Come on, how about a conversion right here? I say you still run the ball. But, man, it'd be nice to get this. I truly would put the game away if you get this right here. Just under two minutes in the game. Very nice. Ball game. See ya. Does Shane Beamer dare try to run up the score here? Does he dare try to do it? I mean, I'd love to see it personally, so. Go. Take off. That a boy. Nice run. Second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. After a three-game losing streak, the Gamecocks snap the streak. They beat the Tennessee Volunteers in a game they had to have. Absolutely had to have. And there's the 100-yard mark for Kevin Harris. How about that? boy, Kevin. A game they simply put had to have, and they got it. And they got it. Hell yeah. Hell for that. Just to add insult to injury. Just get one more first down. Just to add insult to injury. Why not? Love it, folks. Love it, folks. Love it, folks. Love it, folks. What a dub. Not even the must champ hackers. Not even the must champ hackers could stop South Carolina. Beating Tennessee. Not even the must champ hackers. How about that? Hell of a game from Luke Doty. Hell of a game from the running game. How about the passing game? How about that? That's a fun Sunday night, huh? That's a hell of a Sunday night when you watch Carolina get a dub. Love to see that. You love to see that, folks. <clears throat> Stormtroopers for the win. Yes. Yes, Josh. All right, let's take a look at some statistics here real quick, and then we'll get out of here, get this up on social media. No, I'll have an updated top 25 sit, dog, because I'm going to simulate it the next week. Bro, yeah, we just dominated, man. There's really no other way to put it. We do How about the defense? How about the freaking defense, man? We just dominated. Ain't no way the other way to put it. We dominated. 22 first downs. Like, that's insane, bro. Nine for 18 on third down. We won because we got the dub. How about our coaches leveling up? Look at this. Satterfield and White. Old Satterfield and White. Now we've got Vanderbilt, which will be tomorrow. You should be. That was a good dub, man. We need we needed a dub, man, after three straight losses. Makes no sense, though, man. You lose to Troy, and then you go beat Tennessee on the road. You lose to Troy, but go beat Tennessee on the road. My friend, it just makes no sense. Just makes absolutely no sense at all.
We're going to wrap this up very shortly, guys, and we'll get this out on social media. Uh, just going to look ahead to the matchup. Again, we're 3-3 three and three overall right now. 3-3 three and three overall. Wins over EIU, ECU, and Tennessee. And, of course, the losses to uh, Georgia, Troy, and Kentucky. So, which of these does not belong, right? It's crazy. Like the... Uh, Vandy's at garbage. I think Vandy's gonna. I like to post the the leaders for people as well. Look at this. Kevin Harris averaging right on five yards per carry. A hundred carries for five hundred yards. Only has three touchdowns though. Only has three touchdowns. Roderick leading in tackles. Jordan Birch with seven sacks. Seven, and we've only played six games. How about Colorado State and freaking do 25, right? Dinner tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. So, again, folks, thank you all so much for tuning in. Y'all have a great rest of your Sunday night, and we'll talk to you.